What's good? We're Game Matt here, Country Song Teacher. Hope you're doing well. September to remember we're on day four. Let's just go over a few simple tricks uh, dealing with the hammer-on. People ask me all the time about hammer-ons. All it is is you're playing a note and then it raises. So for example, let's do it this way on a G chord. I'm locking the two bottom strings, fifth and sixth. I'm gonna take my first finger off of the fifth string and play the G chord. <laughs> Very subtle, but you hear that difference. Because so even though I'm doing one strum, you have two sounds. Because when I press this, it's going up two frets, two or two a whole step. So that that string in particular, you're playing it open, and then when you press it, so as it rings, you're pressing it. But when it with the chord. For your C add nine, you lift off that fourth string. Say, for example, the way I play a D with the bottom two locked in the third string, you would just leave that whole, um, you're strumming the bottom four strings, leave that third string open. So that's one way to do a hammer on. Another one, for example, is, is maybe two strings. Uh, Last Dance, Last Dance, Mary Jane. I just type in a Matt McCoy Last Dance of Mary Jane or Mary Jane's Last Dance, whatever. I see a lesson on that song. What I'm gonna do, for example, on an A minor, here's your second string, fourth and third. Play the fourth, the two middle strings. So you're playing the two middle strings with both your middle finger and ring finger off those strings. And then you put the strings down. So all I'm doing hammer on, and then and then a tiny mute where you take your hands and you're just muting the strings up, and, and then strum down once. So I'm kind of stopping the string as I mute. second way so it's told maybe two fingers the third and final way I don't do this often but you'll, you'll find you can do this that's where you have say uh, if you're doing some kind of scale or something I'm going to use just for example my I'll use my first finger and ring finger you, this is kind of off but you would so let's play let's say for some reason my first finger is already pressing that fifth string of the uh, second fret you would play it and then you would add you're a finger closer to the body of the guitar, so up the fret. You know, for example, if I if I played, let's say, the fifth string, fourth fret, and did something behind it, obviously the guitar is muted from here forward. So anything you do behind doesn't make a difference. So, but anything you do, so. That's like a hammer on also, so. Because you're playing, say, the fifth string right here, you're playing the fifth string, fourth fret, and then you're adding, adding your finger down. So that'd be a good drill. And I got, I, I've said this in other videos, I gotta take this guitar to get tuned up or something. It's got a big buzzing sound, maybe because my kids knock it around all the time with balls and stuff. But, uh, so that'd be a great drill, just. So what you upset, you just go to the fifth string, maybe second fret, and then bring that ring finger or second string, or second finger. You can see I struggle with this myself. Anyway, that's three types of hammer rods. I said I gotta do a quick lesson. I told y'all in September, 30 lessons in 30 days. So some days I'm gonna get on here like today and just rapid fire something fast. We're about to go eat some Mexican, a place called Gonza's here in Raleigh. It's awesome. I'm gonna eat my weight.
and chips and salsa. So life's good. Thank y'all so much for the support, guys. Check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. A lot of y'all been getting the four chord songbook and the stuck at home deal. I made the stuck at home deal during COVID last year, but still, I just sold four more a second ago. I, I still sell these all the time. That's my guitar one DVD and my guitar two DVD and uh, my four chord songbook for 20 bucks. So it's instantly emailed to you. So go pick up a copy of that, countrysongteacher.com. After you smash the like button, and subscribe and turn the notifications on. I think I covered it all. I gotta run. Love you guys. More important than that, God loves you. Holla. Hey, tune in tomorrow, September to remember, day five.